YouTube, what's going on? My name is Dylan DSR Knowledge, and this is episode three of Here in My Car. It's been a little while. Oh, shit, I hardly remember what we talked about in episode two. I think my pug escaped. Um, it's been a little bit. A lot of it, a lot of it has changed. A lot of, a lot of things have changed. I, uh, I did that episode back in April, middle of April, end of April, something like that, back in April. It is now August. It is the start of August, and we are finally hitting episode three. So I kind of wanted to explain what's been going on with me, what happened, you know, why am I, why did I not upload for like, I don't know, something to the tune of three, four months. It's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, so, at that point in time, I was living at an apartment in my hometown, um, and we were you, taking care of the animals and stuff out of the cabin. Uh, in May, I moved into the cabin with my girlfriend, and we are now living at the cabin. Um, I switched careers. I don't know if I talked about I think I might have talked about one of the episodes, possibly uh, when I applied for a FedEx job working at the at a dock for FedEx. Um, I'm not working at FedEx. I am bartender uh, at, a, at a local bar in the town that uh, the cabin is right outside of. So I'm one town over from where I originally was, so it's like a, a 12 minute drive there. I mean, it's only, it's only four minutes to the bar that I work at um, in the small town now. So, so a lot has a lot has changed. I changed location. Um, I went from having MediaCom internet service in in the apartment that I was at, which was pretty decent. I don't remember the exact stats of what we had, but it was it was all right. It was enough that I could stream content on, and I was having a good time there. And I was able to upload villi uh, videos in a relatively uh, expedient fashion. Now I. Uh, Moved out to the cabin, and we had Frontier. Now, I had a friend that had Frontier um, for, I think, the better part of a year in the same town that I had Mediacom in, and he would constantly get kicked offline. We'd be playing Xbox, and he would get kicked offline, um, I don't know, a few times an hour. It was it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It would happen, you know, every 20 minutes, half hour or so. Um, so I, I kind of knew going into this that Frontier was not the provider I really wanted to have out of the cabin. But it was, the, the only two people that come out for uh, ISPs in that area are Frontier or HughesNet. And when I looked on HughesNet, HughesNet had really, really low data caps. And me playing Xbox, I mean, if I download one game on Xbox, sometimes that is, you know, 60 gigs for, for just one game to download on there. You know, an update on some games is like 10 or 12 gigs sometimes. So uh, their, their data caps were like, 50 gigs was and, and it was fairly expensive to do a 50 gig data cap and then I think you got charged over just for anything over so I knew I couldn't do that because that would just we would get you know we spend way too much money in overages and whatnot um, so that wouldn't work so we had to stick with Frontier uh, originally Frontier had uh, I can't remember what the what they were exactly at but it was like I don't know like two two megabits per second download speeds and they said they were going to upgrade us to six so we they, we called and they complained and they they said they were going to upgrade us to six and they set a date to send somebody out and then that date came and nobody ever showed up you know we called at six o'clock at night asking hey is this person still going to show up to upgrade the internet and i guess the the woman they talked to said that in our area we couldn't upgrade at all that there were no upgrades available in our area so uh, I, I don't remember if, if they ended up calling back later. They did finally come and upgrade. They swapped out the, the, the modem or router, and I think it's a router modem combo. They swapped it out for a different one, and they were on their way. Um, what happened after that was atrocious. Then we, we did start having that same issue that my friend was having where I, I logged it for one day, and I think I had just in like a six-hour span that I was logging it for, I had like... 
20 or 30 times that I wrote down when the internet would cut out. Sometimes it was only for like two or three minutes and sometimes it would be over an hour that it would cut out. So, and this was happening every single day. I remember them them saying that they got charged a bill for the internet the next month. They prorated the bill and they had paid $3 and some odd cents for their bill for the entire month because that's how little internet we were actually receiving. And I mean, I'm glad that they prorated them for that, but eh, I mean, I should be gracious because I'm not paying for the, the internet at the cabin. I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to pay for that, but I would pay for it rather than get nothing at all and have them prorate it, you know, for $3 a month. I would rather just receive the service, you know, so I shouldn't complain that much about it. But that went on for quite a while. They finally uh, upgraded it um, a week or two ago and now we're at about 12 megabits down and I think we're at like four or five up somewhere around there. No, 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 not quite, not quite. I think we were almost at like two megabits up upload speed. So it's, it's better. It's been a lot better since they finally upgraded it again and we got a, another bigger uh, router modem combo and it's been a little bit better now since they finally upgraded that and that is why I am finally recording another video because the, the internet with it cutting in and out and everything, I couldn't play Xbox and I just had no ambition to record videos because I knew I couldn't upload them. Anytime I would try to upload anything, it would cut out in the middle of it and I'd have to start all over and I just got so frustrated with it. So I, I never ended up pursuing what I really enjoy doing, which is making these videos. There's a deer, I don't know if you saw that. There's a deer that just crossed the road. Hopefully I'm not paying attention too much to the camera and I'm actually looking at the road. Um, but um, lost my train of thought. Anyway, I, I couldn't do what I enjoyed doing and that was, that was stressful for me. I, that was really stressful, but we're finally getting into a point. I'm getting acclimated with the new job as a bartender and everything, which I've been having a great time doing. That's been one of the funnest jobs I've had probably ever. I mean, I as a service advisor, I really enjoyed working with people. I like dealing with people. So I, I think being a bartender is is another public service job. I mean, you're always dealing with people. And, and most people that come in to see a bartender are a lot happier than the people that are coming in to get their car worked on. Because if their car is being worked on, and unless it's general maintenance, most people are more you know, apt to be in kind of a bad mood because they might be getting bad news or you were the bearer of bad news a lot as an advisor because you would have to tell them how much it was going to cost to get it fixed and you know what was broken and everything. So I mean there are a lot of times that people were frustrated and stressed out in that situation. As a bartender most people are pretty darn happy to see you because you're you know feeding them drinks and everything or giving them food and making them happy. So I've had a really good time being a bartender and still being able to work with people uh, kind of in a, in a customer service standpoint or a, a public service um, field so I, I've had a good time doing it I, I enjoy I enjoy doing it and still being able to communicate and talk with people and you know learn new stuff about new people and you know keep and, and being only a, a town away I still have a lot of local people that I already knew that would come to the dealership for stuff they still they, they come in and visit at the bar and stuff too so it's been a good time in that respect um, and I'm enjoying life out at the cabin we got a ton of animals that we're always taking care of and there's always new animals we just got a mini horse now too Gerald's loving it he loves being able to run around free I mean not totally free but but pretty free I mean they've got like 10 acres out there for him to run around and play with the other dogs and stuff so I think he's having a better time now that he's not cooped up in the apartment he gets to run around and he's a little more a little more uh, mellowed out when he actually comes inside because he gets to spend some of his energy and time outside but but yeah all in all um, I just kind of wanted to get another video up there I am hoping I don't want to make any huge promises but I'm trying to, to keep it as a goal to myself to still upload now once once a week again try and try and get back into the habit of uploading at least once a week and I think I think I was doing it every Sunday so I'm gonna try and stick to that where I upload every Sunday sometime in the middle middle of the day um, so definitely keep an eye out for that um, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel I recommend you check some stuff out and if you enjoy the content or if you know who I am um, drop a sub on there it would mean the world to me if you do um, other than that thank you guys so much for all the support we've had and even though I haven't made a video I know there's still people out that there that are they're uh, 
keeping keeping me going with with all my passions and everything and it means the world to me that I have people out there that support me like that so thank you guys very much as always you know it deuces